Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is really uh, one of the most enjoyable things that I do every year, and I think, uh, you know, I hope those of you who have done this, how many of you have been here before, have actually done this before? Okay, so let's all just have a party. Um, <laughs> Uh, because this is, this is an opportunity actually for uh, the uh, various grantees, scientists, physicians, uh, others that are involved in this, in this uh, task. And it's actually, it's probably about a third of the audience in this room now. We're going to have to get a bigger room for future years. Um, is uh, to meet you uh, and also an opportunity for us. And we always select some panelists, and it could be randomly selected from this star group of grant recipients, uh, just totally randomly selected and still be world class. Uh, we have such an abundance of talent in the, in the program now to, uh, you know, to participate in the research, to speak to you, and to do all the things that, 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 that we do. But it's an opportunity for them to actually meet you and answer questions that are your questions so they can frame their answers in, in ways that make sense to everybody here. Uh, and that often helps clarify thinking. When, whenever I have the opportunity to do this myself, I always make notes uh, to myself about things that I've said in lay language because it, it, it teaches me something about my own work. Mary Claire King is shaking her head. She has the same experience. Because uh, you get ideas when you have to phrase things sometimes uh, in, in common language. And I think that this is, a, therefore, a great opportunity, a learning opportunity for everybody here. Uh, we, uh, I'm going to ask the panelists each to introduce themselves and where they are and, and, and what they do for a few minutes uh, in, uh, in order here. These are the same people that participated in a scientific seminar that we had yesterday where all the grant recipients come together and, uh, and we, again, just try to make a thematic presentation of a certain area of science so that all the grant recipients can hear what other people are doing and just to give uh, us an opportunity to network, get ideas, exchange ideas, maybe uh, drive other research. Uh, this is not like any other funding organization or, 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 or foundation in all of biomedicine. This is a totally different style of, uh, of, of conducting research. People are invited in to submit. They have to submit a, uh, a, uh, an application about some of their ideas of what they want to do. And then it's reviewed uh, and uh, with almost 100% acceptance rate because of the cleverness with which the scientific advisors you know, choose the people that are asked to, to participate. But the idea is to make this a, a, true, uh, a true college in the old medieval sense of it, where people who are, are dedicated to a certain task uh, gather together in, in a friendly, uh, supportive, networking uh, kind of, uh, of, of environment. Uh, so that they could do creative work and do creative work together and do creative work without enormous fear that creativity is going to, is going to be pun punished. Um, as, as anybody here who's, who's been involved in other granting opportunities, especially federal government organized granting opportunities, will tell you, basically when you write a grant, you have to basically say what you're going to discover in great detail before you send in an application to get the money to discover it. Uh, it sounds really ludicrous, but that's exactly what has to be done because, and uh, the, the, the two criticisms that always come back when you don't get a good grant review are overambitious, that means you actually try to do something new and bright, you know, you know, or insufficient preliminary data, which means you haven't done it yet before you get the money to do it, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> The best response I ever got from, the, from, 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 from our uh, grant recipients, because they know exactly what it is. So you have to be careful that you're going to prove that you're going to prove what you've already proved. And you also have to be very, very careful to, to make it, to, not to make grandiose claims about how you're going to help anybody with what you've actually done, because that would be considered overambitious. And so then you have, to sort of, you have to sort of carve it in that kind of direction. So you can understand. And then, oh, by the way, then if you get your grant, which actually the federal government is very happy that they've actually increased the percentage of meritorious grant funding. If your peers think the research should be done, your odds now are 15 percent that you'll actually get money to do it. It's considered a big victory because it used to be eight, it, 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 it reaches nadir at 8 percent, then it came up to 10 percent. So if you have a meritorious grant, you've got a 15 percent chance of getting funded, and then across the board, your budget gets cut by one third, right? All right, so, so you know, and we're expected to cure cancer, right? All right. Now, I, I'm only really telling you this because you should be outraged. You should be outraged about this. And, and you, are, of all the people I ever have an opportunity to speak with, have an opportunity to really do something about this. Uh, a little thing about declining cancer death rates yesterday. And in closing, uh, the, the person, the interviewer, said, uh, and the federal government only spends as much money on cancer research as the tobacco industry spends on advertising. And people were horrified by this. I got emails. The federal government spends one-third of what the tobacco industry spends on advertising. All right, it's a $5 billion NCI budget, $16 billion uh, tobacco advertising budget. All right? And so you should understand, number one, the problem, and number two, why you are so critical. 
and why organizations such as this are absolutely critical for making progress. It's not just adding something on top. It's actually becoming the core of what we need to do to get things done and to be imaginative and being creative.